three things. Thanks for a thousand subs. Awesome, guys. Let's keep this channel growing. Second, if you're new, welcome to the channel. And third, let's get this video started. What's going on guys? Doing a little bit of a different video today. This is just going to be kind of an overview of the mods I've done to this truck. It's a lot of OEM plus kind of mods, which is kind of my thing. Everything that I'm talking about in this video, I made a video on. So everything will be down in the description box as far as the parts that I've purchased for this. And also just check out like the playlist for the ZR2. I'll try to put the cards at the top for everything. That way you guys can click on it and and watch those videos if you want to get more information on the stuff that I did. So this is a 2018 ZR2. It does have the Duramax diesel for those of you who aren't aware. And to start with that, let's go with probably the best mod, the biggest mod. That is a exhaust kit. So it is a different exhaust from stock, obviously. Have the five inch exhaust tip on there, just black, just a nice subtle addition. As far as some other stuff on the outside, we do have the upgraded headlights, uh, LED bulbs, low and high, obviously completely different housing, blacked out, all that, love the way that looks, huge upgrade there. The light output is okay, it's not great, It's it works. Speaking of the front end of the truck, we do have the LED Raptor lights, which I added in. They're, they're completely custom, uh, separate bracket that I made. Super easy to install. Check out that V. I'll link it up here somewhere. Cost effective too, it was like 20 bucks maybe total for that. Uh, wired up to the parking lights so they come on with, with the parking lights where the headlights, when your automatic lights come on. Nice little subtle mod, not for everyone. Some people don't like to, you know, think that they're a Raptor. This is obviously not a Raptor. Uh, Raptors are much cooler and faster and better than this but that's a topic for another day moving to the back if you didn't see already do have the 589 fab bed mount spare tire kit super super easy and clean install all it is is a little L bracket that goes right here and comes on down that's very easy to install also you'll see the link for that above it's obviously super super solid holds it very securely and looks good doesn't take up a ton of bed space a lot of the kits like the OEM kit for the trucks from GM take up like the whole center of the bed. It basically makes the bed useless. It doesn't make any sense to me to do it that way. Coming to the rear of the truck, not a ton here. We do have the upgraded LED reverse light bulbs in the factory tail lights. We have the LED bulbs in the cargo light and we have the LED bulbs in the license plate lights. Also, I've added the two LED cubes or two LED pods to the rear bumper. Um, which made backing up a huge difference. Just adding those LED bulbs to the rear factory reverse lights. It didn't really do anything with backing up. This is an 18, it doesn't have the HD camera and you can't really see at night at all unless you add these bulbs in, really. That, that made the biggest change with backing up and it's an easy install as well and pretty cost effective. And obviously down here we just have the factory rock guards, rock sliders on the side. I haven't done anything with these. A lot of people change them up and add you know, like a little step or something up there. This truck doesn't sit high. I don't I don't need a step. These are fine. I really like, it's a clean look. Uh, I'd imagine if I had a rock, they would definitely help. I'm sure they're not the, the toughest rock guards out there, but I like them. Now, as we're down towards the front end, I'll show you, even though you can't really see it, the one inch leveling kit I did for this truck is just a spacer, a little puck on top of the coil spring setup. Uh, super easy to install, not a big deal. Um, I didn't want to like lift the truck up per se, I just wanted to level it out, just get a tiny bit more clearance for when we upgrade to 33s or 34s on this truck. And they did the trick. It was an inexpensive upgrade and it makes the truck sit uh, darn near perfectly level, which is all that I wanted. And speaking of front end suspension modifications, we also have the one inch diff drop from peak suspension along with the peak suspension tie rod sleeves. Uh, I have videos on both of these installs. I have had no issues with them at all. They're both easy to install and worthwhile in my opinion you'll see it drop my axle angles uh, a pretty significant amount just doing the diff drop and obviously the tie rod sleeves are a good upgrade because that's a, a weak point on the truck some people say that you should keep the stock sleeves because they're a weak point that way it won't break your steering rack but there's been tons and tons of documented tie rods snapping on these trucks so i figured i would try these out and just see if i have any problems i don't do major off-roading with this i off-roaded it once um now i will 
off-road it again, but I actually went to an off-road park, but with, you know, with the virus and everything, haven't gone back, but it will make it back shortly. I can't forget about the shock skids. Obviously, when you buy a ZR2, if you're gonna off-road it, the first thing you should do is get a set of shock skids for it. So I went with the Dayton, Dayton Fab, however you say it, Dayton Fab rear shock skids for this truck. I got them in the powder coat of black. Um, they bolt right in, no alignment issues or anything. They're, they seem super solid, haven't had any issues with them. Now, when I off-roaded the truck the first time, I didn't have those installed. And luckily I avoided all the rocks and stuff, at least to my knowledge, maybe had like a little scrape on one of the shocks, nothing major. But now I have the shocks good so I can be a lot more confident off-road. If you're gonna off-road your ZR2, or really regardless, you should just buy them for peace of mind. They are cheap, they're not expensive, and it's an easy install. And actually, before I forget, there are some other modifications that I did to the bed, not huge changes, just added some hooks. Very, very easy to install and cheap, very cheap. I added eight, I added eight additional cargo tie-down hooks uh, from eBay or Amazon, and they worked out great. I've used them multiple times for hauling loads in this, and they've held up perfectly. Um, they're not hard to install, and they're inexpensive, so I would highly suggest getting those if you want more cargo tie-downs. A um, reason I did that is there's only four tie-down points in this truck, and one of them, one of them got covered up with the spare tire being mounted in the bed, so I wanted to add some additional ones so I didn't lose that extra anchor point. So as far as exterior stuff, unless I'm forgetting something, unless I'm forgetting something, getting something, something. Of course, I come home and totally forget that I didn't go over the bed cargo light that I added. I added LED strips underneath both sides, both rails of the bed. Again, uh, I made a video on that link up there somewhere. But those are hooked up to the OEM wiring that's under the driver's side tail light. All it does is just comes on with the cargo light switch. Oh, it works the same as getting the OEM kit from Chevy Wood. However, these are much cheaper and much brighter. These just are double-sided tape. I have them right under, uh, underneath the bed rails. It's plenty of light. It looks great. That combined with the cargo lamp LED bulbs that I put in the third brake light makes for an easy to use bed in the dark. You can see everything. Love that mod. I believe that's it. So now we'll move on to the inside. Not a whole lot of changes there, but just a couple small, minute details. There will be future mods coming on the inside. Now, coming on to the inside, we do have a few mods here, which I believe are pretty helpful for the ZR2. Give it a little bit of a more updated look. Also, some more storage space. So we're gonna start with the Pro Clip USA phone mount. I love this thing. This is one of the first mods I did to the truck. All it does is sit right in here. It's specifically designed for Colorado's. Double-sided tape goes in behind this trim, goes in behind this trim. It works excellent. And what I ended up doing to mine is I added an, a magnet to that, and then I added a magnet to the back of my phone. So all it does is just snap, sits on there. It's super easy and simple. I love how that works. And then finally, we have the Blazer shift knob swap, which that was a huge improvement, in my opinion, in how the interior looked and how it functioned, my knee no longer hits the shift knob, which is great. It looks much updated, because there's a little bit of chrome on it, there's a little Chevy emblem. It doesn't look like an old truck knob, you know, from a 1995 Trailblazer, which is exactly how it looked before. It looked terrible and awful and outdated. Not that this is the nicest interior, but it, it just looked terrible. So this upgraded it a little bit in that regard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of my truck and the mods done to it so far. There's always more coming. There's gonna be a bunch of mods coming to this thing. Now that Black Friday's coming up, I'm gonna try to get a bunch of good deals on good solid parts for this thing. We're gonna change the appearance. We're gonna change the performance. We're gonna do a bunch of stuff. So stick around, there'll be more videos. I upload videos weekly. It's not always related to this truck. Usually it's a ZR2 or the LS1 E36 or my manual Duramax uh, LB7. So either way, there's a weekly video coming out on one of the vehicles in my fleet, or maybe if I work on a friend's vehicle, or I'll upload that video as well. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers I've gotten so far, guys. I hit a thousand, which that was my goal to hit a thousand by October. I was a couple days late, but we did hit the goal regardless. So hopefully the channel keeps growing. We keep climbing and could do more mods to all the vehicles. So thank you all for that. We'll see you in the next upload.